And tonight we're hearing from an immigration advocacy group right here in central Alabama. Yeah, they say they don't agree with the new restrictions put in place by President Biden or Taylor Pollack speaking with the group. Taylor, what are their concerns? Lauren, the Alabama Coalition for Immigration Justice says that it's opposed to this new policy and that it's not a solution to the crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. Thousands of people who are trapped in Mexico uh, waiting months for an appointment for asylum, and this is just going to make that way even longer. The Alabama Coalition for Immigration Justice says it's opposed to President Joe Biden's recent executive order, which stops people from claiming asylum when more than 2,500 people are apprehended at ports of entry along the southern border every day for a week. People won't be able to apply for asylum at the border again until that number drops to 1,500. The group believes it will have dangerous consequences. They are very vulnerable and they're desperate. And so our biggest concern with this is that, you know, people are going to try to cross if they're desperate enough or they're going to turn to other options like sending their children alone unaccompanied. ACIJ says they, along with others, are pushing back, advocating for those at the federal level to rethink the policy and look at other options. We are all going to be working together to continue to ask, you know, everyone in Congress to come together and finally, you know, reform this immigration system. Hamilton says they're encouraging people to reach out to their state senators and representatives if they want their voices to be heard on this new policy. Lauren.